Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good evening. Hello. It is time for a line battle. Napoleonic War stuff. Now, hmm. Let me tell you. This is the battle being run by the 1ER CRB. So, these guys are hosting this Thursday line battle, and we should be bringing you all the enjoyment and all, of course, the stabby goodness, courtesy of these fine fellows on the battlefield. Now, you can see here, it is France versus England, and you can see the first RM, you've got the first ERCRB, the first ER, or the first CSG, the first RM, Nyland, 73rd. Oh, so many people. Look at all these numbers in here. Fantastic. And on the opposing side, you have the PER, or PIR, I should say. The 83rd, the 3rd Shrek, which is just a fantastic name. And the 1ER JG, the 2nd Infantry Regiment, or the regulars, I should say. There's the PIR Grenadiers and stuff like that. So you can see, and there's the 83rd in there as well. So many people, and look at that, 61 versus 64. So numbers are pretty good on this lovely rolling hill uh, map here. So you can see lovely hills. Now, it doesn't look like there's any artillery. This is just a stand-up, a, a standard stand-up fight type line battle. And here's the Nylon team, the regiment, I should say, under the command of Captain Crunk, leader of the Nylons. So, oh dear. 73rd Sergeant Mook, or Soldat Mook, just let's see, and here is the 1st RM under the command of John Barclay, and so he's obviously firing back at the enemy, you can see on the hill, now let's go for a quick wander over here and follow the rest of these French individuals, there's Captain Crunk obviously, and moving up nice and close and personal, you have this lovely line here, under the command of Colonel John Oxford, with a face who's been smashed with a shovel. Look at that, that's serious flattening going on there. So you can see all these guys like Alfred Smith, they're making their way out. Now, you have over here another line, these fine guys in their tights, the 73rd, getting ready, presenting and firing onto the enemy. So there's Captain Ribs in charge of the 73rd, and look at that, that's a serious, that's a face of command right there. And let's see, so we've got seven dead, three dead, so that's not too bad. And you can see over here on the English side, so you can see, oh, there we go, there goes another, and I just realised that the reason you're not seeing anything is because of the old death ball, I had all my kill feed switched off so you can see here the uh second banjo lords or volunteer banjo lord and you can see these guys continuing to fire back against the enemy now look over here we have cav so let's just fly over and find out what the clippity clop team are up to it is of course the first crb there's mart martastic Okay, there's Mineshan, there's Pyros, there's Mango, always fruity, there's Shima, who's the person with the horn, Redmond Barry, there's Stoff, there's still Stoff, there of course is Jack Spears, and Brigadier Webster. Now, over here, it looks like you've also got some Dragoons. Some British Dragoons, no less. And it looks like they might be getting into a little bit of a run-in against the French Cavalry. And this is the 83rd here. So those guys sniffing around. Yeah, there we go. It's it's all kicking off now. It's time for clippity-clop. And now you can see Shima gets taken down with a nice uh, sabre swing there from Weasel. And there's Mineshan taken down as well. Mango gets sliced. And you can see here, Whip Paint taking down the Captain Cat. The nice swing into the enemy there. Jelly Bean taking down his teammate. Oh dear, that's not going to go down well. As you can see, the cavalry continuing to crisscross between each other. Whip Paint gets finished off. Oh dear, somebody crashed their horse. 
and Stoff manages to remount. Goes in, goes in for one of the enemy horses, and it looks like, let's see, I think it's, I don't know, it's, it could be, it could be a draw, let's see what the uh, numbers look like when it comes to the cavalry. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually seeing that, let's see, are these the, yeah, I'd say it's roughly a draw. So you can now see the forces, the English forces and the British forces here. There's Sterius from the 83rd. Lieutenant, no less. Oh, it's a cavalry ambush. It's a cavalry ambush. Oh, and then the 83rd come in to try and stop it. And these poor fellows, the 2nd Infantry, super punch in there, trying to defend against his push. There goes Banjo Lord, going in for a little bit of stabby goodness on the horses. And these guys literally going back to back as soon as it happens to try and make sure that... Oh, there we go, a slice. Pyros gets taken down. Redmond Barry also gets taken down as well. Oh, fantastic to watch. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And unfortunately, Mr. A. Hitler from the third Shrek gets taken down. And I'm, I'm somewhat ironically, he gets team killed. So. so let's see. Banjo Lord. We watch. We continue. There's Tactical Stab. What a wonderful, wonderful name for a colonel from the 2nd Infantry. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Tactical Stab. So... Oh, Sub-Zero taken down. As you can see, these guys in the line continuing to fire at the French troops as they are manoeuvring around to get themselves a uh, good position. So, let's see what's going on. Oh! Nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. Great fire coming in there. From those guys and these guys here unfortunately got jumped by the evil cavalry ah uh, there is mr jellybean first lieutenant jellybean no less and you can see here unfortunately it looks like the 83rd have done a number on the first csg and absolutely took them apart absolutely butchered them very very nasty stuff indeed so you can see pretty much all that's left is mr tactical stab he has no men to command, so he's going to make a run for it, or not. Maybe, maybe he'll go in for a quick tactical stab. We'll have to wait and see. So, bear in mind, this is the first round, and you can see the French forces here. Now, they're going to have to, yeah, private airplanes. Oh, look at that, a great shot into Captain Morgan from Science Discoverer from the 73rd. And you see, they're trying to get that little bit of extra reach. Another man goes down, Jelly Bean. Gets well and truly cut to pieces and down he goes. Look at that, the 73rd. Oh, fantastic. And the 73rd with a great interception of the horse. And down goes probably one of the remaining members of the 83rd. So there's existing Xander, Science Discoverer, Private Airplanes, Lucy. There's Invitational Adams. And there's Lazy Rug, who appears to be leading that line. Now, let's have a look. 17 versus 17. So this should be interesting to see how this turns out now. Aha, here is a line of Brits. It's the Shreks. Ariel de Wet Mermaid. Oh dear God. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's Broger Hansel. There's Count Rith from the uh, cavalry. There's Goldilocks. Princess Fiona, of course. Robin Hood. And Farkle, well, quite. So you can see those guys there continuing to fire on the enemy. Aha, look, the two-dimensional bird is watching the battle this evening. Always a pleasant thing to see. Now, let's see, 17 versus 17 still. And there is Sub-Lieutenant Marsh from the PIR. Everyone presenting and firing on the French forces on the far side of that hill. So these fine fellows, complete with large bush, as you can see. No, 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 that. The green thing, nothing else. Disgusting people. I know how your mind works. Oh, someone's a bit late. Uh, he's an old man, so he's probably got delayed reaction. So it's Commissar Toby. Yeda Poof, or Yeda Puff. 
Reich, Golden Prototype, Private Vince, and there, of course, is Tactical Stab in there. Oh, what was that? Oh, brutality from the third Shrek. Oh, yes, you don't mess with the green bastards, that's for damn sure. And here we go. Oh, look at that. Recruit Psycho Seek gets taken down. Oh, dear. As we're now watching Robin Hood. He takes from the rich and he stabs the poor. He'll just stab anyone. There's existing Xander getting into a nice little run in there. And Science Discoverer gets taken down and existing Xander gets taken down. Who is this poor person left standing? It is Swag Von Swagsworth. God, what a name. And what a face. Oh, look at that. A little bit of stabby goodness occurring. Yay, the puff gets taken down. Nice stab into Plains Duke. And Ryak as well gets taken down. So we're watching Swag Von Swagsworth do his what swaggy work. So as you can see, looks like he's having a bit of a seizure at the moment. And he's... Yeah, that's pretty much it. He got a, a bayonet-related seizure. So, 10 versus 4. So there is only four members of the enemy team in the case of the French remaining. Correction! Captain Crunk manages to catch a long-distance bullet from Princess Fiona. She's a good shot. We'll give her that. So, let's see what's going on. Over here, there is Nyland Disaster. There's Sackabut. And who's the last man? It's Lieutenant Joyland. So, let's see. Are this all that's left? Yeah, pretty much. This is all that's left of France right now. So, the question is, is anybody going to sneak up on them? But no. Joyland with a nice long distance shot. But then... Recruit Disaster gets taken down by Princess Fiona again. Wow. Fantastic shot. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's all kicking off now. And there's Tactical Stab in there doing his work. Tactical Stab is on the case. Goes in for again. And ladies and gentlemen... There you have it, the end of round one. We shall move on to the next round, and of course, of course, plenty of stabbing to come. So, stay tuned. And so we returned with the second round after a small issue. Now, you can see here, plenty of horsey goings on and mass murder occurring. Let's see if we can find out where that is. Here we go. Colonel John Oxford, of course, now. I'm hearing drumming. Oh, fantastic. Musician, or possibly musketeer, Bob Tom. Look at that face. Oh. A hard job being the drummer. And unfortunately, with paint, committing suicide. So, obviously, couldn't take the shame of it anymore as we're looking at a mass cavalry punch-up in the centre. As you can see here, the 83rd and the 1st CRB having a massive bit of fun in the middle. Now, who's this man? Correction. Thomas Colby. Recruit Thomas Colby taken down. Ahoy Sailor and all that. Oh, Shimmer just been barged to the floor as Jack Spears manages to take out Fledion and Jellybean. And the Wet Mermaid just killed Adolf Hitler. Can you blame him, really? Okay. And here is... Oh! Hey! <laughs> Over the top of tactical stab. Oh dear. One of his troopers has lost his head. And other things besides. So you can see over here. More fire coming in. 
Here is the 83rd. With Stereos. And you can see them now engaging the French forces on the far hill. A few hits onto these guys as they are firing back at the enemy. Joel Smith from 1st SG. CSG, there's John Oxford, of course. Patriotic Brit takes a bullet for his team. And there, of course, is Bob Tom. With a face only a mother could love. You can see on the far side here, the PIR attaching themselves to the 1st SG, or 1st CSG. We can see the fire continuing down onto those evil, evil Brits down in the bottom. And now it looks like you've got even more of the French forces. There's William Crow from the 73rd bringing his breach, white breached individuals here. The likes of Lucy. And there it looks like they're going to move over to probably the left hand flank. To try and offset the likes of this cavalry over here. So, it's all kicking off. Oh, no he's not. He's decided to turn around. So, oh dear. Permimf, one humph. Has unfortunately caught a bullet from Tina Shepherd. And there's Ogre Lord Shrek himself. The Overlord and the Ogre Lord, in fact. And there's Puss in Boots, of course. There's Robin Hood. There's obviously Ariel and Goldilocks and Hansel and of course Princess Fiona who thinks I'm watching her. It's a possibility. So you see no karate from the princess today. Just lots of good shooting. So you can see here looks like the Shrek guys deciding to change the direction of their line and start engage the French forces who are over here on one side. So you can see now the French numbers making their way out complete with Mook following the 73rd. As you can see it looks like the PIR taking a lot of damage there. Now who's this with a drum? Oh that's the same guy. That would be Bob Tom. So, let's see what's going on. It says private tongues. And this could be a problem. No. Yes. No. It looks like it could be the British. Yeah, it's the British um, Dragoons. That could be a problem. As the first CSG has just been sabotaged. Oh my goodness. By the 83rd and the 2nd Infantry battle going on here as well. And you can see masses of stabbing going on. On the top of the hill, there's Captain Cat in there as well. Let's see if we can find out what's going on. As there we go, one Nikos Smith gets taken down from the first CSG. Is this the last man standing? Not anymore, he's not. So, there's Tactical Stab, the second infantry. So they were working together. Let's see if we can find out where the other parts of the battle are going. And here we go, more battles going on with 73rd, another player. And you can see here... Oh, nice block there, and he manages to try and go in for the stab, but no, he gets hit. Oh, and then barged to the floor by Captain Cat. Oh. And now you can see William Crow with the 73rd. Do not need to do anything, but no, they need to get themselves into a line, because around the other side of this hill is the 2nd Infantry, with, of course, the mighty tactical stab in command. And Captain Cat going after Sergeant or oh, Soljat Mook. And there's lots of dodging left, right and centre to try and avoid those bullets. And you can see over here on one side you have got the Nylons. And they are attempting to fire back at the enemy. At least do some damage to them. As you can see there, looks like one of the horses got taken down. Or he decided to plant his flag on his horse. I don't know, it's difficult to say. We'll have to wait and see, but he's going to be looking for a gun to use. Or maybe he's just going to go in for the stabby goodness. We'll have to wait and see. There we go. He picks up his gun. And it looks like they're going to make a push in towards the Nyland. So the Nyland will now have to pop from behind this tree and defend themselves against this attack. And uh, disaster, recruit disaster taken down. Tactical stab receives a tactical stab. 
and is no more. A simple also dying as well. There goes another one. There's Jolly on. And you can see massive amounts of melee fun going on here. Recruit Johnny, or recruit Ronnie, I should say. Up against Pouch Dog. And acquitting himself quite well by the sound of it. Uh, by the looks of it as well. So here we go. Looks like a little bit of rifle buttage going on there. And it looks like he might be going in for the commanding officer. Let's see. No, it looks like they're going to try and start. Ah, that would be why he's running away. Reinforcements, indeed. The 73rd. And you can see 10 versus 9. Now, what's going to happen to this breach individual? Oh, has he even noticed? He's picked up the flag. Oh, oh, yes, he has. Are they going to fire at him? Is he going to dodge? Is he going to make it? Oh, no, he's not. Captain Cat stabs him. Oh, dear. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, Andrew Stone kills him. So, poor old Captain Cat is no more. As the French forces now making their way out to try and take down the remaining nine members of the British forces. So, aha, it is the mighty Shreks. Green with envy, obviously. There's a little bit of green up the top. That's good to see. There's Princess Fiona, Sniper Fiona, and there's Hansel, obviously. And there, of course, is the Ogre Lord himself. So they're going to take pot shots at these guys. Oh, Invitational Adams, what a shot. Into, uh, what, uh, got taken, Invitational Adams got taken down by Ariel the Wet Mermaid. So, what can we say? Oh, there we go, Nikki as well. And Oh, the commanding officer, William Crowes, gets taken down. And these guys are cycling around to then fire back at the enemy. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what's happening as another fire goes down. And Lava goes in from Nyland to try and kill members of the Shrek. Oh, but then gets taken down by Ogrelord Shrek. And now you can see one of the few members, a science discoverer. He's defending himself as best he can against the stabbing attempts that are coming towards him. But he's got two members of the Shrek squad behind him. Yes, looks like last man standing is about to get Shreked up. That's exactly what's happened. And ladies and gentlemen, that's another round in favour of the Brits. We move on to the next round. Stay tuned. And so we return with the next round, as you can see. Focusing on the ones. One ER, CER. They are waiting around for the off. Waiting for the commanding officer. There's Lieutenant Whibpaint, but this is the commanding officer, Captain Martastic. And he is, looks like the first CSG have already got into a little bit of a tangle with the enemy. Contact has been made, ladies and gentlemen, with the first CSG, claiming some enemies. Oh, the 83rd. Oh, the first CSG. Fantastic long distance shooting coming in from that line. So let's go and have a look at these fine fellows in the first CSG. There's Charles Vassar, of course. Barney Benson. Eugene Wellesley. Theodore Seuss. Carl Theon. Monkey! Andrew Stone. Joel Smith. Sam Alou, Recruit George King. And in the command, of course, John Oxford. Leading forward. So... And it looks like the 83rd has actually run into the first CRB, or CR, yeah, CRB. Oh no, Shima. Oh dear. So poor old Shima gets taken down. I'm terrible with names, I really am. Can't even read. So there's Mook moving forward. Where are they going? Yay, fluting! BSM Charles. Oh my god, what a face. And there's obviously Bob Tom. So it's also good to see a bit of drumming and fluting going on here. So that's always pleasant to see. So, now you can see here, there we go, the first CRB. There's Kieran in there. And there's Jellybean from the 83rd. Looking for an opportunity to swing that long, that long sabre of the Dragoons for that extra reach off the side of the horse. 
Oh dear, somebody just lost his horse. Oh, stuff. Taking down Captain Cat. He does not get very far. There's Brigadier Webster. Trying to defend himself against oncoming Clops. And there's not many of them left, actually. You can see, oh, down goes uh, one of his teammates. And you can see over here. Going to get barged to the floor. Yep, there we go. This is Count Rith. So Count Rith. Oh, sliced in half by Brigadier Webster. And we move over to Scott Olsen, currently from the first CSG. And they are doing a number on the British forces. Oh, pushing forward with serious, serious intent right up to the noses of these guys. As you can see over here. Oh, hello, sailor. The Marines. And don't they look lovely in their little bonnets? And they seem to be doing a number on poor old Michelle Ney there. Nay, nay, and thrice nay. So you can see here, the horse is also getting involved. Oh, a bit of drummery goodness. Oh, fantastic. Drummer going in there with his toothpick, quite literally. And uh, defending himself against the onslaught of the British forces. Oh, no, Bob Tom. Oh, no. We kind of watch Bob Tom. He's got his back against the tree. He's going to watch out. Can he? No, he can't. Oh, poor Bob Tom is no more. As the first CSG still doing a fantastic job of defending themselves. As there's not... Uh, no, it's Sirian. Yeah, there is, of course, Mr. Tactical Stab. Looking for an opportunity to swing at the enemy. There we go. There's one of the uh, French Raccoons. And, oh, Pyros gets taken down. He's now doing his Superman death. As you can see, Tactical Stab continuing to fight for his life. With his teammate Scouty now nearby him. Oh, a nice turn and stab into Steel Ronin. Oh, fantastic stuff going on here. As you can see, horses continuing to make their way through the battle area. So Scouty, Scouty and Tactical Stab staying well. Staying together really well, these two guys. I have to say, really, really good. You can see, obviously, over here, there's Jellybean. Oh, a nice slice from the jelly bean with that long cavalry saber. Very helpful indeed. And the United Kingdom has made it. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of that map. And we shall go on to the next map. We'll be right back. And so, after a quick map change, we are back on to... I tell you, these guys love sand, and they love their sort of rolling hills type thing. So, yeah. But, you know, random map, you know, not too many hills. At least enough of a hill to kind of hide your progression. But it's going to make things interesting, because you will be able to see the enemy coming. So you can see here... The cavalry keeping their location secret. Aha! The French enemy forces, or the enemy forces of the French, or the French's enemy. Yes, we'll keep it like that. It's just getting too complicated. We shall see the British making their way towards the French. And this, of course, is the first CSG led by John Oxford. Look at these fine fellows. What a wonderful turnout. And the drumming. Bob Tom. Conspicuous drumming. And the second infantry catching a load of bullets. Oh, fantastic. Oh, antisocial lemon. Unfortunately, we do not approve of his antisocial behaviour. He has been well and truly squeezed. So poor old antisocial lemon. Isn't it those two guys? They're wonderful. Oh, look at that. Walla Jr. or Bula Jr. taken down from the 83rd with a lovely headshot from Huanth. God, what a name. And these guys are shooting long distance. This is accurate shooting. It's great stuff to see. Lost Knight again. The first CSG. 
Oh my goodness, they really have the range of their enemy at the moment. Um, now, at the moment, unfortunately, the, their ire is directed towards the 83rd, and the 83rd have decided to do the correct thing, as Private Cola gets shot in the back, and they've decided to back off as they're becoming the focus of attention from the first CSG. Now, these uh, this bunch of merry sailors, the first RM, and there we go, BSM Charles, no! Ledge Raw from the 2nd Infantry has killed Charles while he's trying to drum it up a storm. The, one of the drummers of the 1st CSG is no more. His drum left on the battlefield. Oh, look at this. See, the musicians get no love. Or arms. Or actually hands, to be honest. Probably got his hands shot off. Never mind. Moving on. They still have their emergency backup drummer. Because you always carry a spare in battle. You never know when, you, you know, you might suddenly get a puncher in your existing uh, drummer. Or something like that happens. So the first CSG, obviously, doing their thing. Now, let's see what's going on. Here is the 83rd. <laughs> what the hell? They're doing, all doing their calisthenics. Limbering themselves up. <laughs> bold, in, bold gingerman. Don't shoot me. Oh God, what is wrong with these people? There's something seriously wrong with some of these people. Oh dear, I love it. <laughs> He's trying to give him a shave. Uh, so Private Francis is giving Billy Wiz 10 a shave. You can see there. Oh dear. Oh, a bunch of numpties. <laughs> There's Lance Corporal McKenzie from the 2nd Infantry there, of course, is Colonel Ca Tactical Stab. Now up on the hill will be Major Lavoro and Captain Morgan. So, where is the French Cavalry? Here they are! Now, it's hard to be ninja when somebody's announcing your movements with a horn. And look, more calisthenics being done. There's Pyros. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. As we watch as Martastic leads the French cavalry into the charge. We shall follow them in. Here we go. Oh, we'll also follow them out. Okay, so that was an anticlimactic charge, I have to say. As you can, looks like the Dragoons decided to move their numbers elsewhere. Or maybe try and push back against these guys. So we'll continue to watch them. So, the first ERJG with a Beau Marche. And there's my Major Skydrow and Bielski. And you can see here more Brits moving up. The first CSG continuing to do a fantastic job. Against the poor 83rd. Let's see if we can find some more of the first CSG. Where are those buggers? Here they are. And their drummer is still... Oh! Poor old David McAndrews catches a bullet from the Shreks. With, of course, musician Bob Tom doing a fantastic job. Raising the morale of his team. <laughs> and annoying his commanding officer. <laughs> shoot him, shoot him now. Oh dear. Maybe that's the reason why musicians get shot. And there's uh, unfortunately Olaf taken down as well. Oh dear. Brilliant. Oh no! Oh, multiple fire coming in, taking down two recruits from the first CSG. But they can move in even further and closer, which is exactly what they're doing. And you can see the 73rd. Oh, Rudolf Rass gets shot en route. And Bob Tom is still surviving at the back there. At the top of the hill, it is, of course, the Shrekians. Oh, look at that. They're doing a number onto the first CSG. 
Oh, so many numbers of the CSG just got cut to pieces by that run. Oh no, down goes musician Bob Tom. Bob Tom is no more. Shot in the head. Ah, the musicians get no love. Look at him. There's poor Bob. What's left of Mr. Bob? And now you can see the first CSG pretty much finished off by that attempt. They ran round in front of these guys, the Shrekians. And they did a number on them. And there we go. In come the revenge. This is the reinforcements from the 73rd. So it looks like the 73rd are bringing in the reinforcements. And Mighty's decided to stop. No, he's decided to pause briefly. So now you can see the revenge. The revenge of the French army. As recruit, uh, regular, another player gets taken down. As Oh, look at this. Nice team kill going in. But you can see, obviously, the second infantry down on the far hills here. Still firing into... Firing into the French forces. They got Shrekked up. Well and truly. And there's Invitational Adams. Going up against plenty of sailors. So, yeah. Oh, one sailor down. Oh, look at that. Down goes Lieutenant Sterius. Taken down by Webster. Adams, and here's another man in here as well. He's doing a fantastic job. It's Whip Paint. Mr. Whip Paint. Recently dehorsed. And now deciding to back off. As he's currently lacking, lacking a clippity clop. So Mr. Whip Paint now will be joining the nearby line. And no doubt over here. These guys also without horses. There's Pyros. And there's Mango. And there's Jack Spears. So, these guys will be joining the line. Along with a little bit of random horse assassination going on. Here is one of... There's Levoro. And it looks like they're trying to take out the remaining member of PIR. Oh, Venom taken down with a Sabre Slice. Very unfortunate. Now you can see here... More fire coming in. And you can see, let's see, Recruit Mango taken down. The 83rd doing a number onto Nyland. And you can see these guys trying to defend themselves. There's Pyros looking for that important stab. That, like that, into one of the horses. Can they take the horse down in time? Oh no, but Pyros catches a bayonet. Or a, uh, a sabre. Very nasty. And we can watch through the controls of Mr. Whip Paint. Oh dear. Oh god, it's Mr. Web Paint versus the world. Mr. Web Paint versus the world. And unfortunately, the world won. Sorry, Web Paint. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I do believe we're on to one more round. We'll wait and see. We shall be right back. And so, the battle is underway. And you can see. This is the area of the British spawn. And here is the Dragoons. And Goldilocks. Huzzah! With Venom being owned by his brother. <coughs> and there's Vagir. So you can see here, Alfred Pennyworth, Corporal, holding on to the flag. The mighty colours of the British Army. Mysterious. Checking through his spyglass. And now it's the turn of the first CSG to lose some members. Look at that. Oh, Wilhelm Lancaster. Slightly out of position, but it doesn't matter anymore. As Charles again catches a bullet. Look at that. Oh, dear me. Now, where's our musician? There's our boy. So, in, oh my god, it's a mass punch-up. Oh my goodness, the first CSG are going nutty. And they are charging in. Oh my goodness, look at this, mass fire going on. Oh my god, so much murder. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now begins the bayonet dozy doze. And now the question is whether or not the other French forces who are way the balls over there will actually get involved. Because the first CSG have actually brought it to the British forces. 
And you can see these guys making their way out as they have well and truly put Das Boot in. There's Richard Williams from the first RM trying to defend themselves. Now you can see the French cavalry moving up. And the first CSG looks like they got about 30. So this is a pretty good combo. So we just have to wait and see what's going on. As you can see, it looks like one of the guys has lost his hoss. There's Kieran. Oh no! Oh dear, this is not good for Kieran. He's got loads of sailors after him. This is not a good thing. Oh, and a flying horse over the top. That unfortunately distracted him. So over here, we have Colonel Richard Williams from the 1st RM defending himself. As you can see, he's doing a fantastic job. Stern look on his face. Look at that. Determined man. And they've managed to steal Imperial Eagle. And look at that, the 73rd going in for a charge with a mass charge of the Brits as well, including the sailors. So, as you can see, Sub-Zero in there. Oh, having a bit of trouble, and he's well and truly frozen, and he manages to force a team kill onto John Barkley. Fantastic stuff. As the 2nd Infantry also getting involved with a little bit of gunfire. And let's see. There's Joseph Pennington. Who's this fellow? Pyros. Better start running, Sunshine. You've got the whole British Army after you. Ah, cavalry goodness. So, unfortunately, Corp Lava literally got heavy cav charged. And now, let's see what's going on up here. It is the PIR. And Pyros, obviously, making a run for it. 12 Frenchmen, 62 Englishmen. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Very oh, dear. He even still got the stogie in his mouth. That's how determined he is to continue his bad habits. So, it looks like Brigadier Webster taken down by Heldane. Let's see if we can find out what's going on. Oh, Ginger Man. Private Weasel, Thomas Colby, and you can see here, is the 83rd, the third Shrek. So you can see now, Chris Man sucks, and Broger Hansel also in there as well. So, we can still win this front, yeah, that'll happen. 62 versus 9, I think the chances are not high, I have to say. But, you know, I mean, you know, England has snatched bigger defeats from the jaws of victory. Just watch the cricket if you don't believe me. They're going in for the charge. The old guard never retreat. And these guys are charging. Look at this. Okay, maybe not Sub-Lieutenant Marsh. And there we go. Surrender has been done. And no surrender. No prisoners. Oh god, the cavalry's on the way. Who's that man? Who's the last man? Bear Grylls. And down goes Yeda Puff. Which means there's one guy left somewhere. Or two guys left. Aha! It's Reich. Oh, nice stab! And unfortunately, he got well and truly jumped. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming, thank you for watching, and thank you to all the regiments for being involved, and thank you, of course, to the 1ERCRB for inviting me. I hope you've enjoyed this line battle on the Thursday, and we shall see you again soon for Napoleonic Wars. Take care.